So as you can see, <clears throat> the volume of color with uh, on the RGB color profile is nowhere near what's being able to reproduce in the CMYK color profile. So what we have to do is we have to do our best job of remapping these colors or what is known as tonal compression to bring this sRGB color model into the CMYK color space. This is why, I'll stop right here, when you look at a blue sky, you may always be uh, disappointed with the results you get because with uh, when the photograph is in SRG or in RGB, you've got all these deep bright blues and 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 more of the the colors you see in the in the horizon. That when they're converted to CMYK, you'll notice when I change the opacity, all those bright blues have to be condensed into this little area here of the uh, of the blue hue that's reproducible in CMYK. So there's a sacrifice there, and that's where you get into using either the relative uh, rendering intent or the perceptual color intent that'll help you resolve some of that uh, some of the issues you have with converting your dark blues into the CMYK color space. So let's turn this uh, opacity back up and you'll get an idea again of what we're dealing with here. We need to take all this color and condense it into this little area right here. So and this is the Graco color profile. The Graco color profile he has more colors than the SWAT profile, so we're going to get uh, a better representation of some of those more juicier RGB colors when they're converted to CMYK. For more information on color and color printing, please visit highdefcolor.com. Till next time, take care.